So in unit four, we were introduced to programs and we looked at their logic models and we asked some evaluation questions of the different parts of the logic model for programs. Uh, and in this unit, what we're going to do is build on that work by coming up with a plan to answer some of those evaluation questions. Uh, this unit's going to be a little bit unrealistic in the sense that um, most well-built programs will have indicators uh, baked into them, right? They'll have those identified at the outset for the purpose of tracking and assessing uh, program performance. Um, in our examples, just because we're going to be working through the process of identifying indicators, asking questions, um, and, and isolating data points, uh, we are going to come up with these uh, for ourselves. So I think I've said this before, but if you've worked in any kind of organization, you might be familiar with the term key performance indicator, right? And these are the data points that your employer, uh, your organization will track um, to assess and evaluate your performance. Um, and, you know, these are really great sources of information for evaluation. Um, and you can see these are some of the key performance indicators from the university's strategic plan related to academic excellence. Um, and you can see uh, there are some objectives here and there are some metrics that are identified uh, for each of those objectives, right? So uh, just as an example, the, for the culture of teaching excellence, um, we've got three key data points that we can look to to evaluate, um, you know, whether we're meeting that that objective. For our purposes, for our questions, we are going to isolate the data points that we need to be able to answer those questions. Um, and so I want to return to our uh, summer school lunch distribution program example. Uh, and just as a reminder, uh, this program prepares and distributes lunches uh, to kids uh, who, who may not have access to nutritious food at home uh, over the summertime. Um, and I've chosen an output question here to, to use this example. Um, and our output question is how many children are being fed by the program, right? How many children receive lunches? Um, this is a, a valid output question, right? We're asking how much of a thing is being produced, is being put out there. And we're going to need some data points to be able to answer it. So I've got some options, right? This, this question on its face seems very straightforward, right? How many kids are we feeding? Um, but there are multiple ways to count that. And you're going to be asked to get into this level of specificity and detail uh, for your, your questions because these data points uh, are very important. They could mean different things to different people. So you need to be able to define those at the outset. So these are some options that I have for answering this question. Um, I could look at the number of lunches distributed per day, right? We, we can keep track of how many we make um, and we can expect there may be some leftovers, right? There may be some lunches that go unclaimed at the end of the day. So we can do some math, right? Um, we can assume, right? If we choose this option, we have to assume that all participants, right, all students who show up are taking one lunch, but there's there's going to be a margin of error built in, right? And any measure we choose is going to have a margin of error. There's going to be some kind of error that's introduced, um, right? Maybe some days, some kids don't show up to get a lunch. And so we have to kind of think through these questions, right? Another option we have is, and this is much easier to collect, is we know how many uh, children have signed up to participate in the program. Um, and if children register or sign up to participate, we have the number, right? That number shows up right up front and it's going to be dependent on the way the program works. If, if children don't have to sign up, right? I can't count this, right? I can't use this data point. Um, but there is still error involved here um, by counting just the number of students who show up I have no way of knowing about attrition, right? How many students sh stop showing up over the course of the summer uh, or, or kids who, who get a lunch and share it with their friends or their, their siblings um, or kids who, who take a lunch but don't eat it. So as we go through this unit, what we're going to do is we're going to think about the, the questions that we're choosing to answer. And we're really gonna think about the different ways, the different data points that we could look to to answer those questions.